Welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number four. I have already prepared the Blender window. I've split a 3D window up in eight different panels. The first thing I want to do is to remove the cube. I do that by pressing delete and then the enter key. Now I would like another object in here and I want it in the center and the cursor, the 3D cursor that you can see, as soon as you click anywhere with your left mouse button in the 3D view, the cursor will stick to that spot. I like it to be in the center, so to do that I press the object and snap cursor to center. And I want to add an object, I add mesh monkey. Now for this purpose I would like this monkey was also called Suzanne to I would like Suzanne to face forward and to do that I can press R on the num on the keyboard the alphanumeric keyboard R and X for the X axis and ni 9 0 on the alphanumeric keypad not on the numpad it's on the alphanumeric keypad and enter now Suzanne is facing forward. In the this window, we'll press the zero button on the num keypad, and then we can see we get the camera view. And on, in all these six windows, we'll choose a flat projection or a, a viewing down one of the axes, up and down the axes. We'll start with a top perspective by pressing 7 on the num keypad. And the bottom, you get that by pressing control 7. The front perspective by pressing 1 on the num keypad. And the bottom perspective by pressing control 1 on the keypad. The back perspective by pressing control 1 on the keypad. The left perspective by pressing the right perspective by pressing 3 on the keypad and the, the left perspective by pressing control 3 on the keypad. Now we'll just zoom in by using the mouse wheel on e one of these, make Susan a little bit bigger. And you can see that if I move around arbitrarily, arbitrarily in this window or any other, by the way, and nothing happens to the other views, I can do all kinds of maneuvering and all the other views will remain the way they are. However, it's the same object that we're looking at in all of the, the views. So let's say I grab onto this object and move it along one of the axes then that will be apparent too. You can see we're manipulating the same object in all these different views. and I would like to snap my object. I want it back to where I had it. So I take, uh, since I have selected the monkey or Suzanne object, snap, selection to cursor. And there you go. It's back where we started. And this concludes this tutorial. I hope you've um, enjoyed it, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.